Thanks, Colin, for your kind introduction and for your tireless leadership on behalf of America's wildlife. Hi, everyone. I'm Senator Martin Heinrich of New Mexico. And I'm Senator Roy Blunt from Missouri. It's an honor to be part of the North American Wildlife and Natural Resources Conference. And I want to thank Steve Williams and the whole Wildlife Management Institute team for inviting us to participate. I'm deeply grateful for all the work being done by sportsmen and women, wildlife managers, conservation organizations, outdoor companies, and landowners represented here at this conference. I don't think we need to tell you how difficult it has become to find bipartisan areas of agreement these days. But Senator Blunt and I have discovered during our time in the Senate that the outdoors and wildlife conservation gives us a unique opportunity to find common ground, even in Washington, D.C. You know, in the last con Congress, the two of us were part of the successful effort to pass the Great American Outdoors Act, which is already helping us tackle the longstanding infrastructure backlog at our national parks and public lands. Now we're teaming up to make similar historic progress for species recovery and wildlife habitation restoration. Our bipartisan legislation, the Recovering America's Wildlife Act, would quite simply be the most significant investment in habitat restoration in a generation. The Recovering America's Wildlife uh, effort would uh, create a new wildlife conservation and restoration program within the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service to address the nation's wildlife crisis. It would provide around $1.3 billion annually to states, U.S. territories, and tribes for proactive voluntary conservation efforts. Uh, this work could and often would include partnerships with private landowners. I like to think of this type of habitat conservation work as the preventative medicine in wildlife recovery. We all know that an ounce of prevention really is worth a pound of cure, but by funding more upfront habitat restoration work, we can prevent many more species from ever becoming listed as threatened or endangered what I like to think of as the emergency room care. We know this approach works because of the successful recovery of game species and sport fish over the last half century thanks to the collaborative work financed by bedrock conservation laws we know like Pittman-Robertson and Dingle-Johnson. And it's not lost on me that the campaign for Pittman-Robertson started at the very first of these North American conferences 87 years ago. It's past time for us to scale up these successes for all at-risk species and for all of the game and non-game animals and plants that we love. You know, these wildlife conservation projects will always create substantial economic benefits, including good paying jobs in rural communities. By conserving wildlife habitat, we'll also preserve outdoor recreation activities like hunting, fishing, wildlife viewing that support millions of additional jobs all across our country. The Recovering America's Wildlife Act has already passed through the House of Representatives Natural Resources Committee, and both of us are working hard to advance RAWA out of the Senate Environment and Public Works Committee as soon as possible. This is our generation's opportunity to recover healthy populations of wildlife species like bobwhite quail and meadowlarks in Missouri. And species like Gila monsters and Gila trout in New Mexico. I'm proud of the broad bipartisan coalition of sportsmen and sportswomen, conservationists, scientists, states, tribes, and wildlife advocates are calling on Congress to pass RAWA. And by the way, RAWA is a lot of fun to say when you're trying to convince members uh, this is something they should be part of. Our bill has uh, garnered support from all 50 states, from tribes, from nearly 2,000 organizations across the country, including many of, our, of uh, those that you represent at this conference. We can get this done if all of you will join us in this final push. And I encourage all of you to keep calling your senators and, and pushing to get RAWA across the finish line. I really see this bill as our best chance to pass on to our grandchildren the same rich and abundant American wildlife that we've been lucky to experience as we grew up. Thank all of you for your support and for all the groundwork you've done to help recover America's wildlife. Let's do this.